I am currently in Cape Cod, Massachusetts. On Cape Cod or in Cape Cod? I don't know. But I flew into Boston yesterday and I'm on a trip right now with my mom, my grandma, and my aunt. We're all redheads and it's so funny just like seeing us all walk in a group together all with red hair. It's, you know, lots of people have been making comments and being like, you guys must all be related because we also all just kind of look alike. Anyway, we haven't been on a trip together in so long, so we have had this plan for months, went, wanted to go on a little girls trip, and I am so happy to be here. So we've been here for literally only a day. Today's the first day. Um, I'm in the little bunk room of our Airbnb. This is where my mom and I are sleeping. We got great sleep last night. I flew in, or we flew in yesterday. Got into Boston, went to dinner, and then just drove straight here and got here super late. And then we pretty much just went to bed. And we woke up today and we've just been thrifting today, which I'm going to show you guys what I got. Because I got some really cute stuff for like an amazing price. But everyone here is so nice. I don't know if I've ever met nicer people in my life, like all in one location. Everyone's just been so helpful, so kind, so sweet, and like... I don't know, it's just been the best experience. I've only been here for like 12 hours and it's just been so fun already. Um, I was gonna take a shower today because my hair is so greasy. Um, and the hot water actually wasn't working at our Airbnb so it just got fixed while we were gone. So I, I had to wear a hat today. I wasn't planning on wearing it but that's fine. I'm gonna take a hot shower tonight. There's a Suns game on tonight. We're all Suns fans so you know we're gonna watch. I'll show you a little bit of our Airbnb and also what I thrifted because it's so cute. You guys will love it. Let me see if I can give you an OOTD. Okay, this mirror is so like fuzzy. I don't know why it's like that. But basically I'm just wearing this thrifted cream sweatshirt that I got a while ago. And my green lioness pants that I'm obsessed with. And my new balances. And my Jerfab new hat. Really nothing to write home about. Also, my butterfly necklace that I've been wearing a lot lately. You guys know the drill. One side's pink. One side's blue. It's mine and Chelsea's friendship necklace that I got for her for her birthday, but then also I had to get myself one, so it was a present for both of us. Here is one of the bedrooms. This is the one my aunt Erica is sleeping in. Everything's just like super minimal and coastal, and it's really cute. Here is the family room area. It's very Cape Codish, you know? It's just super like East Coast clean and pretty and blue hues everywhere and we got like the coastal decor the lobster it's very cozy okay no i did not get anything from amazon or bath and body works this is just what they put my stuff in but i'm going to show you what i got thrifting today because i really got some cute stuff okay i got this which it's like a candy dish or something but it looks kind of weird in the in the light, but it's like this iridescent little dish. It just is really cool. It was really speaking to me, and I think I'm going to put it, I don't know, I can put it kind of anywhere in my house, but I was thinking maybe on my side, like my nightstand, to put like earrings and whatever, rings and stuff in at night next to my bed. So there's like these three little, you know, dishes that I can use. I don't know. I feel like... This is making it look more like orange. It's kind of like light peachy colored and it's just cool. Anyway, so I got that. Then I got a bunch of vintage jewelry. Oh wait, also I got this hat, which it's not vintage, but um, it was at this like consignment store and I just thought it was really cute. Let me try it on for you guys because I know you guys care so much. Okay, it's a, it's a little too tight right now. I need to like, I would need to loosen it. Cute, right? Love the colors. Kind of reminds me of my, my or our Balanced Boss ones, the colors of it. 
I just love baseball caps so much. This actually matches my outfit literally exactly today, almost like too well to where I wouldn't want to wear it together because it's like the exact colors. Obviously, I just love green so much. So we love that. So I got that little New York hat. Okay, and then this box holds all my jewelry. I got a lot of, well, not a lot, but kind of. So let's go through it together. First, I got this little guest necklace, which was just really speaking to me. I don't know. It's so cute though. It's just this little heart that says guess on it. And it has like a little charm. I don't know. Look how cute that is. I love it. I thought layered with other necklaces, it'd be really cute. And then also the prices on this stuff was insane. I swear nothing that I got was over like $5. Okay, these earrings are so fun for, you know, some type of event where I'm getting a little more fancy or I want to be a little more extra. They're so sparkly and cute. So I just got these little heart rhinestone earrings. Okay, focus please. Please focus. Whatever, you guys get the gist. Like cute right with a dress or something so i got those i got these just like hammered silver earrings these hoops that i thought were really cute um what else what else oh yes okay well this bangle it's just like a floral does it have a brand on it or anything no kind of gives me 60s or like 70s vibes just a floral bracelet obviously not with this outfit at all i'm thinking like okay my mindset i'm gonna be honest my mindset right now the things i'm purchasing a lot of them are for italy like that's where my brain is going i don't know why i think it's just because i am so excited to travel out of the country again like i just just been so long and so i just picture so many cute outfits and i picture this with like a cute swim suit cover up situation with a bunch of gold jewelry floral bangle i don't know oh yes i'm obsessed with this i got this bracelet look how cute that is it's just like this little gold jewel and i'm so happy because bracelets rarely fit me as we've discussed with like my watch i always just have to get stuff sized because my wrist i have just very small wrists but this like fits my wrist actually pretty well and I just think it's so cute, again, for a different outfit, but I already picture these with certain outfits. By the way, I called this jeweler place in Orange County to fix my watch or to make it smaller, and it, I think it's literally gonna be like $10 to do it, so super easy. Okay, I got this ring, which is just like kind of dis, not discolored, what am I trying to say? Like just like a unique shape, and I think it's cute layered with this other ring that I have. Oh, don't worry nasty chocolate underneath in between my nails from the chocolate chip cookie that i had on the plane we love that for me okay you see the vision it's cute i think just like layered with other rings it's cool it was so affordable like all this stuff was so cheap okay then i got these little textured baby gold hoops which i think will be really cute in like my second piercing right there and then these are cool i think is this the last thing i got um oh i got one other thing these earrings I just love the, they're so different than like anything I've seen. Like these little gold twists. I don't know, thought they could be cool. My total for everything was like $50, which <laughs> California is quaking. It'd be $50 for one of these things, I swear. So that's my jewelry and my cute dish. I'm like, why am I, I'm triggered right now that you guys can't see the vision of this. It's like, it's not that I'm trying to prove it's cute. It's that it looks different in real life than in on here. Whatever, just trust me. Oh, the last thing I got, which I got from the first place. I just forgot about it. Uh, what? Oh yeah, I got two of these things. I forgot. Everything was just so cheap. These earrings, they're like these little green stripe things. I think these will be fun for a certain earring stack I have in mind that's like more colorful. And then last but certainly not least, these little heart earrings. There's like little studs basically but their hearts just having like additional earrings now makes me excited to do different earring stack combinations i still can't take these out my like constellation piercing or whatever because it's only been i think it's been a month and i think you're supposed to wait like three months or something for i don't know maybe i'm wrong about that i should look into it i want to change this one on top right here out for a even tinier stud because i feel like this one's even a tiny bit too big like i want to do a tiny little diamond or something and then this one i'm fine with they're both like neutral so it's fine but i'm excited to do like three hoops or switch the stud over here like switch up the combo but i just haven't been able to yet which is totally fine on this ear i just have two and i just have my little baby hoop and a little stud 
in there right now. This is the outside of our Airbnb. Um, oh, I thought the front door was opening. It scared me. But this is the property. It's so pretty. A little sitting area out here. And then that's where the person actually lives. Um, and this is just the place that they rent out, but it's so cute. We're going to dinner. Do you already know what you're gonna eat? Have you looked at the menu? Me? Yeah. Who else am I talking yeah. to? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I yeah, you were talking but to we looked at so many different restaurants. I forget. I do know the desserts. You so know. got the desserts. I got the desserts. A lot. The bread pudding, the creme brulee, and the key lime pie. Amazing. Can't wait. I'll take you guys through dinner. Grandma got naughty tic tac. <laughs> do you know they say that? I do know they say that. <laughs> Grandma. <Merry> Christmas. <laughs> this is my aunt Erica, guys. Do we look alike? People say we do, and this is my grandma. Look how cute she is. <laughs> Guys, look at the four redheads. We're on our way to dinner. I said, Erica, do you want to be my video? You don't have to be. She said, I don't watch TikTok. I don't care. I said, it's YouTube, but it's fine. <laughs> this is where we're going to dinner. It's called Yarmouth something Inn. Old Yarmouth Inn. And this is the bookstore we went to earlier today. And it was amazing. Could have stayed in there all day. But I'm so excited. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Oh so the man goodness. just told me that it's haunted here. Amazing. He said, go point that camera in the room back there and see if you see anything. Absolutely not. This is our food. Oh my gosh. Ravioli. Mm -hmm. Grandma's already dove in. Yes. Yum. Good morning. We're going on a little dune tour today. I don't really know what that is. We're going like in a car with the tour guide through the dunes in Cape Cod. So we just drew, drove like an hour, 45 minutes. I am going comfy mode today. I'm wearing a sweat set and then I'm also going to bring my big puffer jacket. Just in case I'm freezing because it's actually really cold today and rainy. Got a matcha this morning. I got a chai yesterday from this place and it was pretty good, but not amazing. So I decided to try their matcha. Anyway, we're in, what is it called? Oh yeah, we're in Provincetown, duh. How did I, like, my brain's not working because I didn't get that much sleep last night. We stayed up late watching the Suns game. And then we had to get up kind of early to make this drive. So I'm tired right now, but hopefully the matcha will kick in soon. We're in Provincetown. Everyone told me to come here. Like so many people on my TikTok were like, you have to go to, I think everyone calls it P-Town here. And so here we are. I'll take you through our day. some of this coconut passion fruit what is that say? snowball cake. oh snowball cake wow stunning this is where we just had the lobster rolls so good and this is the cute little town we're walking down the street right now to a little thrift shop they are so beautiful okay i don't want to break something okay i'm not going to touch anything because they're very fragile but i was just telling my mom this like massive shell this is the kind of stuff i want in my future home or like this i actually considered getting this because i think it's so cool just like this structural piece of i don't even know what this is like a piece of coral slash shell to like sit on a shelf or something wouldn't that be so cool but it's too like fragile for me to put in a suitcase i think but they have the coolest shells at the store where at. it's called the shell shop <laughs> like look at this i cannot believe how are these real? Like, how? It's so pretty. This one's kind of cute, Erica. Obsessed. Why do I want that shell? But look at this, guys. Can you imagine? Okay. Imagine this in a cool home of that $1,200 clam. It's like so thin, but so pretty. It would be so cool. Look at all these homes, guys. They're so pretty. Love this pink 
tree. Okay, I don't know if I already said this in the vlog, but everyone here has been like, it's unseasonably like very cold right now. It's supposed to actually be a lot warmer. I literally can't talk because my mouth is freezing right now because we just went on a little bit of a walk. I have to show you like a little sneak peek of this place because we're not staying here, but it's called the Chatham Bars Inn and it's a little hotel here. And we were actually thinking about staying here, but a bunch of you commented and you're like, you have to go there and just like walk around because it's so just beautiful and quaint and cute. So we have just been like driving around today, kind of making a bunch of different stops. I literally can't speak right now. Like I feel like my mouth is not with my words because it's frozen. But I have to show you guys this because it's so pretty. Look at this view. It's right on the water. And then during the summertime, this would seriously be amazing because all those tents down there or those little like umbrella things, they're all like these striped little things where you can come down and be by the water. And like if the weather was nice right now, that would be amazing. This is like the outdoor seating area. The inside is so charming too. It's so cute. Anyway, um, I want to come back to Cape Cape Cod in the summer because I just feel like it would be incredible. I mean, it's already been so much fun, but it's just like we can't do any of the summer really activities because it's just cold. But um, I'm also so glad I brought this coat. I almost didn't because I was like, I'll be fine. I would have died. <laughs> There's a little peek at the inside. So pretty. Breakfast time. So cute. Yeah, literally cost so <laughs> We're on the ferry to Nantucket. I'm so excited right now. I've wanted to come here for so long. You take a ferry. We're doing the fast paced one. The normal one takes like two and a half hours or two hours and 15 minutes. And we're going on the one that takes an hour. So we're just chilling, waiting to take off. Kind of just did take off ish. But we're going to be on here for an hour. We're going to go to Nantucket. We're spending the day there. So can't wait. You know, we're always on the chai tour. Okay, let's give our taste test. This is from Handlebar Cafe, and I read on some random blog that it was really good chai here, so let's see. <laughs> Pretty good. You wanna hear the best sound in the world? Nothing better. How cute it is here. Ground is all cobblestones. We have just been walking around. It's actually very beautiful weather right now. I was terrified to not bring my huge puffer coat, but I was like, I don't wanna have to lug that around all day because the high is a little bit higher today like it's a little bit warmer so i took a risk and i didn't bring it but i've been totally fine i just have a t-shirt underneath my sweatshirt people around me i'm shy but look at the cobblestone and look how cute this is don't worry just risking my life to vlog but we're gonna go try and find some food right now we haven't had much to eat today like since we've been in Nantucket. well we had pastries and i had chai but we're gonna go get like an actual meal before we have to take the ferry back to Cape Cod. It is so perfect here. Like, just look at look at my view right now. Look at this. This, everything is just perfect. So the lady was telling us that the population here is 13,000, which is so small, but in the summer, it's a hundred thousand. So summer is like their busy season and their touristy, you know, time of year. And we're here kind of off season. So it's like really nice because there's not a lot of people at all. We're like some of the only tourists. Like we just went into this museum and I saw like two other people. So, oh. so it's been so nice and fun. And I feel like it's kind of perfect timing that we're here because we kind of get the place to ourselves. That's what it feels like, but it's still not like freezing weather. So. The only thing that's a bummer is that everything's not in bloom. There's like some pretty flowers and stuff, but during the summer, the photos I've seen of Nantucket are insane. Like just flowers everywhere and it's so stunning, which is why it's so popular, I'm sure, during that time of year and it's warmer. But anyway, I just love it here. It kind of feels European and I'm obsessed. We're just walking and this crab is on the road. I don't know if it's alive. We almost stepped on it, but we're gonna leave it be. Just a casual boat being, I don't know what's happening, actually. There's a boat. 
eating clam chowder. These are all fish behind me, getting a true experience. <laughs> it's actually really good. I don't feel like it tastes super fishy. Should I put the crackers in it? Yeah, they're just like soda crackers. Just gives nice it a little crunch, crunch. Mm -hmm. but then if they get soggy, did they, they give us they just two? Here's the vibes, it's a gloomy day, but we're headed back. Okay, just picked up some juice at this juice bar. So pretty, and like they gave it to me in glass bottles. So this one's called the Thrive. Green apple, spinach, cucumber, mint, and lemon. This one is called the Rooted. And it's beet, pineapple, kale, and lemon. Looks so good. Okay, we're gonna taste test them. I gotta shake them up a little. Mmm, I think it's really good. Really good as in like mild, like it's mm -hmm. very easy to drink. And it's all really good. Ingredients. Hello, why is pitch black in here? That's delicious. It's good, huh? Very mild, they're gonna love it. Yay. You can take the girl out of California, but you can't take the California out of the girl. <laughs> Still finding juice bars everywhere I go. You know, we haven't really eat, been eating many veggies this trip, so I said, let's get some juices. Yeah, it's really good, good, huh? That's really good. Should we try this one? Do you like beets? And the milk? lemon, uh -huh. the lemon just makes it so bright. Mm -hmm. good. You like it? Do you ever drink like uh -uh. juice like that? Mm -mm. I mean, I make smoothies all the time with lots of good stuff. Right. Mm -hmm. well, after you do yeah. celery juice for months. Yeah. Oh, Did you do the whole celery juice thing? But it wasn't yeah. good. <sighs> It's disgusting. Yeah, I, I hate celery. celery. I actually don't like celery. It's too salty for me. Fill it with peanut butter. Rooted. Fill it with peanut butter. You'll be fine. <laughs> I love it. I love beets though. Beets are very oh, earthy. I love beets. Tell us what you think, Ma. So like fresh, huh? That's really good. So good. Look at my mom's cute scarf around her neck. Close you know, to grandmother you, vibes. No, you're giving flight attendant. Mm -hmm. Oh dear. <laughs> I'm kidding. Like a flight attendant. <laughs> Why? Take it off. Why? Flight attendants are so cute. I am off work right now. I don't want to do duty. I don't want anything to do with the flight. She's she's not a flight tree. attendant. Oh, that, that fresh air feels like good. Strawberry. Look at this great. beautiful it tree. Has a great taste These are maple yeah. trees. Every time we pass a, a plant, we've been scanning it for Grandma so, so she can good. plant it in her yard. <laughs> There's a new app we found out about. It's called so, Plant This. Called Plant This. No, wait, picture this. Oh, picture this, and you can. Can and scan a plant and it will tell you what kind of plant it is actually very cool but every plant we pass grandma says scan that what is that grandma what from this trip what plants have you found that you're like yeah i'm gonna like i'm gonna use something wow well so many of the gorgeous trees maple trees japanese maple the cherry japanese, japanese cherry japanese cherry how many flowers have we seen so, so many so many are we going to talk about the lip stain on grandma right now grandma oh. has the grandma has the lip stain she on literally has beet juice too <laughs> let's just add it. we both have our actually we all have our lip stain on so Love cute it. benetint it. by benefit i i don't worry i won't knock it mm -hmm. it looks so good on you she I was saying it. that her lips get kind of colorless too, so I had her try. This is so good. It's my favorite. Sponsor, um, sponsor segment. No, I'm kidding. Benefit. Sponsor me if you want. I love this stuff. Obsessed. Just got home. Um, I just got home from the airport like maybe an hour ago. It's like 2 p.m. First of all, my skin is breaking out probably from the plane, probably from copious amounts of sugar I consumed this week. Um... And I'm gonna put, I'm gonna try this stuff out. I've never tried it. It's by Peak. It's called Betox Foundation Beauty Electrolyte. It's like for skin and deep hydration and stuff. Anyway, I feel like I could use it after the flight. It's yuzu berry flavor. I've, I already said I've never tried it, but we're gonna try it together real quick. I'm home. She's home. I have a husband with a thick, thick mustache. I love it. It's actually gotten softer. The mustache? Yeah. Yeah. I love him. Oh, we grab Lady so we can show her because guess what? I missed her fourth birthday. It was yesterday. She turned four years old. My little baby. She's perfect. <laughs> okay, this is probably pretty good. I maybe should use, maybe I should put some ice in this. I'm gonna taste it though. I'm curious. What flavor? That's good. Yuzu berry. It's like very mild. Mm. It's not like super overly flavorful, but. It smells. It has like a lot of electrolytes in it and stuff. It smells just like pink lemonade. I hope this brings my skin back to life. Here's your four-year-old. <gasps> my little oh. baby. Also, oh. lady, I've been gone for weeks. I'm just kidding, five days, but she was like literally obsessed when I got here, okay? But it's been an hour, so now she doesn't care as much. You're four years old. Little four-year-old. Oh, I have lip gloss on, sorry, lady. She got a little birthday cupcake. She got a new toy. Leif spoiled her for her birthday. We love a supportive dog dad. 
That's the cupcake. Show us the new toy, the photo shoot with the new toy. Her new bear. <laughs> <laughs> Best friends. Show the one of her like kissing it. It was so cute. She's everything. I'm gonna end the vlog here. I feel like a zombie right now. I wanna like ice roll my face because my chin is kind of hurting. I think because I just have been breaking out. I need to go through a bunch of packages that I got while I was gone and just recuperate and hopefully get to sleep early tonight because there's a three hour time change so it's already 5 p.m. in Massachusetts. And anyway, I feel like I'm gonna be tired early tonight, which is good. I have a yoga class in the morning. I'm gonna end the vlog here. Thank you guys so much for watching my Cape Cod Nantucket vlog. That was such a fun trip. It was so, so fun to be with my grandma, my aunt, my mom. Like we haven't done a trip together in a really long time and girls trips are just the best, you know? We ate such good food. Had so much fun, rented bikes and did that fun bike ride, went on the ferry to Nantucket. Like, it's just such a dreamy place. And I really, I've probably said this the entire vlog, but I really wanna go back in the summer at some point because it's just so beautiful. And I feel like when everything's in bloom, I would just be obsessed with it. I mean, when I went was already perfect. So I just feel like it'd be such a fun summer destination. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching my vlog. Make sure you're subscribed if you don't wanna miss out on anything. I love you guys and I'll see you next time.